Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. And Les. Welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Sonata. <laughs> I'll just show you my item setup briefly. There it is. Same equipment setup that I showed at the end of the last episode. Alright. I don't think March learned any new abilities. Oh, she learned Midnight Cloud. I want to equip that. Um, Midnight Cloud is basically her version of... Well, it's the dark version of Supernova. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, not that she'll be using it in this battle, but I might as well equip it. Okay, let's, uh... Let's go die horribly. After we get over this ridge, the rest of the way will all be downhill. If you say yes, so, Serenade. We're almost in Forte territory. From this point on, we should be especially careful not to reveal who we are. Then why is your hat cap hey, down? Guys! I have no idea. You guys are really slow on this mountain, by the way. We even had time to draw a fortune. You caught up with us sooner than I expected. I assumed we'd at least make it to Forte first. Oh, I'm glad we caught up with you in time. Yeah, that's, that's good, what I do guess. What you think you're doing? Being stupid. Why in the world did you follow us? Because you're stupid. I don't know. Princess, how could you leave without telling anyone in Baroque Castle? There are a lot of people there who are really worried about you. Yeah, worry about the spy. I sure, why not? Reckless. Seems it is. Called for decisive action. Really? We must avoid a pointless war, and I feel strongly that meeting in person with Count Waltz is the best way to accomplish that. What, what are you going to tell them? Please so stop you turning your people into your best evil magic soldiers this to kill us. We're talking about. Thanks. You know, there's no guarantee he'll spare your life. Yeah, that's Listen to me in my squinty if eyes. I to speak with him, I believe he would spare the prince. <laughs> yeah, because he cares about you. My own life. I will protect him. Just like he cared about All Fugue and Tuba. Yep. It is the very and Rondo. I can do to make up for it. Count Waltz doesn't seem like the type who listens to reason. Even if he does let you live, I seriously doubt he'll ever let you set foot in Baroque again. And when Baroque has been thrown into chaos after losing its prince, Waltz will still invade. No kidding! You're right. You can't abandon Baroque now. This was your dumbest idea ever. <gasps> What's that? Um, it's an army of dragons? Why? Where'd they know. come from? They're already invading? Uh, clearly. Well. Oh. Hey, Hi, Waltz. Waltz. <laughs> nice to see ya. <laughs> Jazz is like, time to kick some ass. No, just, uh, sit on the bench there, Wait, Jazz. Why did her coat disappear? Did she take it off? All of you, stand that is weird. Legato, we're descending now. Yes, wait, wait a Lord. second. See ya. Even if we yeah. tried to fight a force that size, we'd have no chance of defeating them. There's well, like there's like five of them, or like ten of them. They'll just continue on to conquer the rest of Baroque. Good job, Crescendo. What, what a brilliant idea. Ask Clavis for her opinion. Oh no, I'm sorry. That may buy us some time. What are you gonna run all what? the way to Forte to warn them? That's gonna buy you time by pretending to listen to their demands. What the hell? What are you gonna w w run to Forte and warn them? You mean broke? Whatever. <laughs> it would have been terribly rude of me to make you come all the way to Forte. How did you even know he was on his way? So I have you read the script? You halfway. God, he's so evil. I know. Him and his emerald brooch. Count Waltz, as a representative of Baroque, I assure you that we've no desire for bloodshed. I came all this way because I'd hoped I'd be able to negotiate with you. Yeah, he's going to get right on that. The people of my kingdom suffer under the fear of war any longer. You seem to be a noble prince who cares for his subjects. 
However, I'm afraid we cannot give you any response without some kind of guarantee from your side. I'm sure you understand. I'm turning Gee. myself over to Forte. <laughs> if that is not enough for you, Baroque is prepared to consider terms for surrender to Forte as well. Yeah, if you say so, Crescendo. I ask for assurance that you will not harm Princess Serenade, these people here, or the citizens of Baroque in any way. Yeah, he'll get right on that. All else, I want to prevent the killing of innocent civilians in needless conflict. I'd like to revoke the parlay. Yeah, sure. Because that worked out well. Uh huh. Count Waltz, listen to me. All this time, I have kept close watch to make sure that Baroque made no move. They and they haven't because you did. You told them not to. I was fully aware that by doing this, I was lending my support to you and to Forte. Can you use Throne of Thorns on him? That would be useful. Well, actually, you don't have that yet. Celebrum. Verbum Celebrum? Yeah. Can, can you use that on him now? Eventually, though, I realized something. A stalemate is not a solution. Standing still does not solve anything. It's kind of repetitive. For things to change, one side needs to take a step back. Again, you and just so repeated you're yourself. Baroque has taken a step back. Well, he it requires much kind more of has courage to take a here step to surrender than it does to take a step forward. Would you not agree? After all, there is no guarantee that there will be ground to stand upon. <laughs> it's funny you say <laughs> if that. You say so. Please negotiate with Baroque. And then perhaps we can step forward together in peace. Yeah, he'll get right on that. It should be clear to all concerned that continuing with this mutual animosity benefits no one in the end. But you see, any threat posed by Baroque is no longer a concern at all. Why? You wasted your time! I have even less interest in Baroque's simpering prince. <laughs> So you did nothing. The only thing we're interested in now is that girl. Oh, of course. You did not think this through, Crescendo. So if you'd kindly turn her over to us, I will guarantee the safety of Prince Crescendo and Serenade. Two for the price of one! Of course, we promise to treat the young lady with the utmost... And for only 99 cents! Yeah, sure. Sure you will. Don't think for a minute that I'm gonna fall for that kind of sweet talk again. Oh, but it is very important to us that this young lady remain in only the best of health. So that we can invade you guys with an army of evil minions? Of her. We'll make sure she lives the rest of her life in comfort. In a jail cell. Pretty much. You see, all of us want the same thing. So, what is no. your decision? No, you don't. Uh, who's all of us? You're not really after me, though. Isn't that right? You just want to get the glowing of go -Go's. Well, yep. Yeah. We figured out what you guys were up to a long time ago. There's no way I'll go with you. Besides, I already know what it is I have to do. I know what to do to really help everyone. If you say so, Polka. You people don't quite understand the situation. Do you honestly think you have any say in the matter? How unfortunate. <laughs> He's and mildly as annoyed. I was going to respond to Prince Crescendo's little bid for peaceful negotiations. No, you, you totally weren't. You will hand the girl over to me immediately. Because I'm afraid that if you don't, you're dead. <laughs> he just says it so nonchalantly. You're dead. Like it's a bother to him. Polka! <laughs> it would have been easier if you'd just done as I asked from the beginning. Well, there you go. So... No, Polka, don't do it! Don't go with them! He's clearly a very trustworthy guy. Damn it. Oh, uh, hey, Legato. Uh! Dude, you, you have burst mode. Just cut the dragon down. Young man, please refrain from doing anything foolish. Unless, of course, you would rather throw away the historic peace that has finally been achieved. Please, right this way. Eh, 
All right. Time to go home. Well, report our incompetence. It's confirmed, my lord. Well. Hey, I, I recognize that light. You gonna take a picture this time? No. What are you doing? Putting it in the mineral powder. My lord, it is just as you surmised. <laughs> now he's actually a little happy with his creepy face. All right. Uh, how's it going, Waltz? What are you doing? Well, that was mean. Even Frederick is annoyed. Take the girl and get out of here. But please do be careful with her. She's our guest. <laughs> Evil laugh. Polka! Well, now, since I have the girl, I suppose I no longer have any use for the rest of you, do I? Dragons attack! Tear them all to pieces. Wow, this was a brilliant strategy by Polka. Clearly a tactical genius. The protection of the glowing agogos. What? What? <laughs> Do you really think you can fool me with a ridiculous lie like that? It fooled the music. You think I'm lying? That's your choice. But keep in mind that you're speaking to a guardian of a gogo forest, so you might not want to take my words quite so lightly. March, hold on. What are you doing? Don't you agree, Sosa? Uh, okay. Yeah, that's right. After all, nobody knows more about the Agogos than the two of us. Well, you didn't know that they glowed. So he's mildly annoyed. Sure are you that we're not telling you the truth? Have you already forgotten how easily we defeated all the precious little henchmen you sent after us? <laughs> I beg to differ, Viola. Lord Waltz, perhaps it would be prudent to listen to what they're saying. Don't be such a fool, Legato. <laughs> Shut up, Legato. Though it is true we haven't received any reports from Tuba, Hugh, or even Rondo. Not since their respective encounters with you people. Didn't you get a report that Tuba, like, died? See, what more proof do you need? There's no way anybody out there can beat us. Under the protection of the glowing Agogos, of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> How amusing. Hey, he actually has legs really under there. Hilarious. No, he does. All right. Let's Ple see how please well don't. glowing guardians protect you. Please don't. If those bumbling idiots couldn't manage it, then why don't we see what I can do? No, please don't. Okay, take six against Waltz. I'm not able to get stop on him. That's why I keep losing. Come on now. Let's see what you've got. You want to get stop on Waltz and take out the dragon quickly. That's effectively what you want to do. That's an instant timing knockdown attack. Uh, stop going for the dragon with her. Keep doing that. Okay. Hit the dragon. Dragon has some attacks. Uh... Choking Blow is a multi-hit AoE that inflicts poison and knockdown. Timing is slightly delayed. Incinerate is instant timing, but he'll groom himself before he does the attack, so you can always be ready for it. Harsh Tormund is instant timing. Damn it, so is Volcano Cascuscio. Harsh Tormund can inflict... I had to try to counter that. I also changed my item setup. I put in more Angel Trumpets and a Honey Cookie over that Heart Clover I had in there. Get away. I... Stop aiming at him! Anyway, um... Lash Tail is a tail strike behind... What are you doing? Just, just full moon bind. Please stop him. There we go. Finally! That helps a lot. Of course, you still have to block. Anyway, Lash Tail is instant timing. It's an AoE tail strike behind the boss. 
keep it full HP, so heal arrows good for backup healing. That should help out so much. Wait for him to reach the top point of his jump there. He's going to use that incinerate. You gotta be Press ready for that. Press the circle. I brought a honey cookie with me instead of that heart clover because the heart clover was too uh, item heavy. Gotta block that apocalypse fall. There you go. Now you can... We got the dragon. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Um, Waltz himself. Always start the Tarmody chain with Full Moon Bind so you can get more echoes with Supernova. Because, uh, like, Legion Faminat is really good, or you can get echoes for healing. Harsh Torment's pretty easy to block. Uh, but it can inflict poison if you don't. Instant timing. Uh, Volcanic Cacusio also is instant timing. Ray Dominion, you gotta wait for him to draw a symbol. In order to... Stop War Off, but that's okay. To block that one. That's the attack you wanna see. Once Stop wears off, just try to get it back on. Now it works, no problem. Um, just kind of expect that if you don't get stopped to work, and sometimes you won't, I missed that timing, you're not going to win this battle. You have to have stop. Don't worry about healing Viola. I'm healing you. Oh. Uh, maybe I should get Hawkeye going. What about the poison and stuff? Oh yeah, if he poisons you, use a pure feather. Oh. You mean our poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scorpion's tail, he resisted it, that's fine. Um, I forgot that I had those. It's been such a hectic battle. Throw those. And then try to get a Spirit's Pathway off. It's okay. He's almost dead, apparently. Come on, hit him! Oh no, he's not almost dead. He just has that on him. Yeah, pretty much you've seen every attack. His normal attack's really hard to block, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Yeah, see how much stop helps so much, man. And then, sometimes... See, if he gets two turns in a row... Please tell me I'm facing him. Oh, thank God. That would have killed March and nearly killed Frederick. Okay, I am going to get... That's Bone Crumble, you idiot! I just wanted Hawkeye. Sometimes you'll get two turns in and there's really nothing you can do. He's going to kill you if he's not stopped. Stop is my counter for that, basically. Don't worry about Viola too much because she's far enough away to where he usually won't pick on her. Don't try to counter him. Yeah, if you miss just one of those physical attack blocks, you're screwed. You're not going to be able to... I need to get her away, because... It's the will of the people. Uh, can I counter... No. That one I have time to react to. <laughs> there we go. I almost got him. Well, at least I thought I did. Oh my god, Viola! He's dead. Just remember the pain. Just remember the pain. Yeah, that is by far the hardest boss in the game. Evil Strike is the dark version of Sacred Strike. Um, have no shame using Stop. Have no shame using that Saint's Mirror either. I would suggest actually putting it in. If you can beat that, you can do anything. That's even harder than the optional dungeon stuff. And you get party level 5, which now you get 40 item slots. Thanks, game! Anyway, now you can use special attacks when you counter. That would have been useful to have! Actually, no, I probably wouldn't have used it there. But, uh, 
yeah, you get no tactical time at all now. But you also get a speed bonus there of one and a half. So basically everyone has permanent speed shoes now without needing it. And it does stack with the speed shoes as well. I hate that fight so much. Now this is a huge change from the 360 version. This is impossible. What, did the game just end or something? No. In the 360 version, Waltz just dies. Quite long enough. It ends here. There is no scene of, like, Jazz saying anything to him. He's just dead. And Legato freaks out. I'm not ready to admit defeat quite yet. Which is really stupid. What would you like me to do, my lord? Drink all of that medicine immediately. He did it on his own in the 360 version. We haven't finished the testing yet. So yeah, Legato became the main villain. Quest Legato. Which was dumb because he's not an interesting villain at all. Compared to Waltz. Drink it. It also didn't really make much sense. So he's always been like a a Weasley little dude. You guys may want to stop him from doing that. <laughs> there you go, nicely done. J Jazz, can you kill him? Less from my second in command. No. You have a giant sword. Why don't you just chop stab. it off? Stab. Stabby stab. So yeah, Legato just did this on his own in the 360 version. So yeah, Legato basically became the main villain in the 360 version by doing this on his own because he panics after you kill Waltz. Instead, in the PS3 version, Waltz orders him to do this and he kind of becomes Waltz's little pet, which makes a hell of a lot more sense. You scorpion yeah. bug thing, whatever you are. And he kills his own dragon army for us. He Thanks, fired. Legato. He only fired once. He didn't even but fire. He just breathed on I them. I know. Were your allies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tell that to Tuba and Legato, <laughs> or not Legato. Uh, Those stupid creatures are nothing more than pawns in my little game. And now that I have you the say so. piece on the board, they no longer serve any purpose, do they? So yeah, if you're wondering... <laughs> we are going to have to fight Waltz again! I can't think of any reason to keep you people around either. <laughs> yeah, we're screwed. I will admit one thing. You have given me some level of amusement. But no more. Now, be good little children and die together! Uh-oh. When did Polka get up? Why didn't you do that before to Waltz? God damn you, Polka! Okay, you Kingdom Hearts him enough. It's good now. Tis but a flesh wound. And now we go into chapter 7. I swear to God, Frederick, if you play a piano piece. No, I don't think he does. Hey, is everybody okay? Do they look okay to you? What's that hole? Oh, yeah, by the way. Did, did Polka. What did she do? Um... Did she rip open time and space? That is the power of Legato. I don't know why, but it feels sinister to me. It's the mist. Can someone explain what just happened? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they just got wounded a bit? Oh yeah, clearly. Yeah, that's the end. Convenient, considering Polka can't do that again. I just enjoy taking naps on random mountains. 
Beat, you're yeah. such an idiot. Really, Beat? After all, they're the ones who were protecting us. Just like you said, right, March? Are you an idiot? That was a bluff. Though I'm shocked that they were actually protecting us. I had no idea. They what? weren't. What are you talking about? You seriously didn't catch on? March and I were putting on an act the whole time. And that convinced oh, Waltz right. to fight us himself. So you guys were just bluffing. That's not very nice. He was going to kill you all! What are you two doing? You're like sizing each other up. Have you not realized this for the past like sixty hours? Um, giant evil warp behind you. Nothing. Nothing at all. What is wrong with you now? it was, it sure saved our necks back there. But I don't think we're totally in the clear yet. You're absolutely right. Probably not. There's no telling what terrible things they'll do if those two are left to roam free. Yep. Yeah, what about these two morons? Oh my goodness. This is horrible. The mountains. The sky. It's all your fault. Now Waltz has that incredible power at his disposal. Yeah, it's your fault too. Good job. Crescendo. You caused a, a, a rift in the time-space compendium. Compendium? Continuum? <laughs> that persona out of my mind. Yeah. So, um... Do what? Do what? That monster. It's gotta be somewhere on the other side of this hole. Don't you think? No, really? Exactly ready for a fight. You telling me you can so? just stand by and let those two do whatever they want to this world? Well, not me. There's no way I'm gonna give up. Please don't run in ahead so of everybody else. But in this case, wow, Viola's way taller than everybody. You didn't realize that? <laughs> no. Let's go, Jazz. We've got to make a world well. where everybody can live happily ever after, don't we? Oh my God! You're not my first girlfriend choice, but. I guess I'll listen to you. I'm gonna make sure I take lots of pictures, Redo. Really, we're having a final battle speech. If we're gonna be saving the world. I at least want us to have something to remember it all by. Eh, prop does better at the selfies. If you're taking pictures, I guess. you better not miss any of the amazing stuff I'm gonna do. Oh, sorry. Such I'm as. So silly. Are you two gonna get together at the end of this I'd game? Like They're like eight years have. old. I know, but they have, like, weird chemistry compared to everybody else. It's very strange. The strength of will to face any challenge and to never back down from hardship. Perhaps See? They're doing it again! For them to truly make this world their own. Now, now, now they're just sitting there. Frederick. Let's go kick some ass! Now then, let's go, Polka. Let's join them. Isn't it your battle, too? It's your world. Can't you just magic them away? Yes. I must see this through to the very end. That's the only way I can be sure the path I choose will be the right one. Life? All right, guys. Or death? Let's go! Why are you taking a fighting stance? What's in the portal? The answer is you'll have to find out later, because I'm not going in there. Let's go walk over to Forte. Should be ordered over here, right? Right? Clearly they weren't so lazy as to not design the rest of the area. Oh, of course they were. Yeah, you can never, ever, ever, ever go there. Oh well. Time to go back and save, because I ain't doing that again. It took us way too long. It was like six attempts. It just Usually nonsense. stop works. <laughs> But not that time. Okay, so next time we'll start Chapter 7. There won't be any videos next week because I'm busy. And yeah. So we'll go from there, I guess. This is Ryzen. And Liz. Thanks for watching. Take care.